Hello everyone, this is Mark from Servermania. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to install your own VPN. Uh, so this will be a VPN server hosted on an external server. In this case, uh, I've uh, set up a hybrid server with Servermania. Um, so these are pretty good for a personal VPN server. Uh, the cost is uh, fairly good, around $30 a month, and you can certainly use it to host other uh, personal applications. If you're setting this up for uh, a number of personal users or a business, you could certainly uh, choose from a variety of hybrid or dedicated servers. In this case, uh, we're installing it on the latest version of Debian. Uh, so I have that set up on the hybrid server. I'm uh, connecting on a Mac here, so I can just connect using the terminal. But you're certainly welcome to uh, use PuTTY or whatever uh, SSH application if you're connecting with a different operating system. Uh, so we'll start the process by logging into the server. Uh, we're going to log in as root. The first step in the tutorial is to uh, perform an apt-get update. I've already uh, done that, so you don't have to uh, watch that process. Um, next, we're going to install wget if it's not already installed on the server. If you have it installed already, then you can skip this step. The next step in the process is we're going to download the installation script. Uh, so we've selected a very popular OpenVPN installation script from GitHub. So you can certainly just download that here. The next step will be to just uh, set executional permissions on that file. Finally, we're going to execute that file. In the installation process, it'll uh, ask you just to confirm some information. So the first uh, detail is just which IP it's going to listen to. So uh, this will generally just automatically populate with the server's main IP, which it did in this case. So I'll click enter. Um, we're going to do the recommended protocol. We're going to do the recommended port. And uh, we're going to use the uh, system resolvers. You can certainly uh, use different ones. Actually, I'll switch to Google. And uh, client name, we can just stick to client. And then it'll go through the installation process. Now that the installation is complete, we'll just need to download the OpenVPN configuration file. And this is the file that will load uh, on any of our devices, either our desktop or mobile devices, in order to connect to the VPN. Um, so on a Mac, the easiest way to do this, and we've already provided the command in the tutorial, is just by doing a secure copy. So you're uh, going to um, open a new terminal window and substitute your IP address and wherever you want to uh, store this file on your local machine. But essentially, you can just execute that file, hit your root password, and it'll download the file. The other way you can do this is just by um, uh, opening the file on the server. You can CAD it, you can open it in uh, VI or whatnot, and um, you'll view that file and you'll just have to copy it in. Um, this can just be a little bit tricky if you're using Windows. Sometimes the uh, file uh, extensions uh, won't get saved properly when you try to do it this way, but that's another option. I would recommend the secure copy if you can just to uh, quickly download that file. The last step in this process is to uh, connect to the VPN server. So this will vary based on your operating system. If you're using Mac, you can download an open source VPN client such as Tunnelblick. And all you have to do is uh, take that uh, client.openvpn file, uh, open Tunnelblick, and just drag it uh, into the program and that'll auto populate it and then you can just hit connect and that's all you need to do. Um, the instructions will be a bit different on Windows, iOS and Android but in this uh, text tutorial we have all the different instructions for each of those uh, operating systems. If you have any questions or you run into any issues in this installation process feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.